So recently the Dalai Lama was being really inappropriate with a young boy and his apology that he gave was fake as hell. Don't believe it. We're going to get into it and I'm going to break it down how manipulative this man is and how his team is. Very manipulating and calculating with this fake ass apology. Let's get into it. I, okay, this is kind of embarrassing, but I have to Google, like, I'm like, who is the Dalai Lama? Like, I swear I probably watched some cartoon or something about it. Maybe there's a cartoon about it. Because I was like, I've heard this man's name before, but who is he? So this man is very well respected and basically, from the sounds of it, people look up to him like some type of prophet. You know, you have these people running around here saying they're prophets, God's chosen, etc. Okay, so I'm going to show you some clips here, okay? Because I think this is when the first interaction happened. So you see him rubbing his, putting his head on his head, kind of a normal thing that they do. He does it again. I don't know, he's trying to give him a little skin burn on his head or something. I don't know what that was. But this part, I'm like, okay. He looked like one of those annoying grandpas just being silly and just being annoying, right? And we continue watching. He then turns into the creepy grandpa. The grandpa that tries to cross boundaries. Thank God I never had a grandpa like that. But let's keep watching. The next part is when he hugs him. And look how weird this hug is, man. Okay, so the, his face is blurred out, but you can tell that he's very uncomfortable and it's like, oh, oh my, your holiness, what are you doing? So this is when it gets more creepy. He ends up kissing this little boy on the lips. Dalai Lama, with a little boy kissing him inappropriately and then proceeding to stick his tongue out and asking the boy to suck it. And suck my tongue. <laughs> Hurry! This minor boy who has approached the Dalai Lama to seek his blessings in Dharamshala looks visibly uncomfortable when asked to suck Dalai Lama's tongue and then proceeds to place his forehead on the Buddhist monk. For some reason, people were thinking, oh, this is just innocent play, you know. He kissed him on the lips. That's so inappropriate. It is so very inappropriate. Who do you think you are to put your lips, your crusty old Dalama lips, on a boy? He kept his tongue out. He was really expecting this boy to listen to him, to his demand, and put also his tongue out, touch it. So, of course, this went around on the internet and this man got dragged for the little hairs that he had left, dragged across the internet, and he ends up addressing it, right? And this is when the fake arseness just comes out and slaps you in the face. Check out what he said. So, on the website, on his website, it says, A video clip has been circulating that shows a recent meeting when a young boy asked his holiness, the Dalai Lama, if he could give him a hug. His Holiness wishes to apologize to the boy and his family as well as his many friends across the world for the hurt his words may have caused. Whose words? Because you're saying the young boy asks his Holiness, the Dalama guy, the bold man for a hug. Apparently he was the one that asked for a hug. And you basically try to switch it up and say it's this young boy's fault. And then, you don't even mention anything about the kissing. You don't mention anything about you sticking your dirty tongue out. That is some straight up fake ass shit. That's not a, a real statement. It's not even a real apology. It's one of the fakest apologies I've ever seen. And not only that, some of his followers, I guess, really believe that... I have to show you, okay? Let's go check it out. Watch this. He's doing, touching the nose, touching the, and the cheek, and also hug. This is a normal he's doing this in a Western country when he's traveling. So especially this time they are making such a highlight because they are looking opportunity to try to create a special problem for his holiness and uh, try to make the problem in Tibetan society. Yeah, it's very funny how you failed to mention about the tongue and him kissing on the lips. Notice that? Notice that he kept his whole mouth shut and they really try to make this out to be, oh, he just gave him a little hug and everyone's just being dramatic. Like you really try to been this narrative as if he was just being playful and gave him a little hug. No, 
you were being dirty and a creep. That's what the holiness was doing. Being a creep. Now let's see what another person has said. I short video and thought that there was something strange. But when we saw the whole knowledge, the whole video, and the people who were present at the moment, when we saw the knowledge, they were playing with the kids. And the kids told them to hug them and to hug them. So this is a very big thing. Okay, someone played this guy so dirty, because now this man's on the TV looking like a complete fool. I feel like the news reporter, the journalist, probably going, here's the full video, have a look. But they don't show the guy how he asked him to suck his tongue and went forward to his face, nor did they show that man of him kissing the little boy on the lips. He does not mention this at all. So I feel like this news... What's the name of this news? Global news? I feel like you're completely biased. You do not mention anything about the tongue situation. Let me keep watching to see if you do this at all. And you don't. You don't at all. Global news is biased. Don't listen to them. They're like spinning the narrative for this man to protect this man. How much are you paying you? And you're making people on the street look like idiots. Because now they're going to see and go, oh, he's just hugging him and being playful. Show them him asking the boy to suck his tongue. And show the video of him kissing the boy on the lips. Do that. Now, it would be another thing if they turned around and they were like, I'm sorry guys, the Dalama has like dementia and he thinks he's a little boy. Then I could understand this situation. But they did not address that at all. They did not say anything like that. They try to switch it up and blame it on the little boy. The little boy asked for a hug and did not mention anything about the kissing on the lips and the tongue. It's them. It's them trying to really hide this situation and look like they're completely innocent. They didn't, he didn't do anything. Don't believe the hype. What he did was extremely inappropriate. And it, obviously to me, it looked like he, he enjoyed it doing that to an innocent boy and it's just so gross and I feel like it's very important for parents to teach kids boundaries if someone says that they want to kiss you on your lip and you feel uncomfortable you say no and if it's an old man that's doing it you come and tell me let me come to school and talk to this old man that said he want to kiss you on the lips let me show him a nice kiss with my fist you feel me you gotta give teach your kids those boundaries so they don't end up in a situation where they don't know what to do because it is a very uncomfortable situation. A lot of kids don't know what to do in that situation. They're like, oh crap, what do I do? I don't feel comfortable doing that. I don't want to do that. So please teach your kids about boundaries and let them feel confident and powerful in saying no to these creepy ass, dirty, spiritual men out here the holiness doing these weird things okay thank you so much guys for watching how's your kids how's your wife and i'll see you guys in another video peace